Now it's time for an ad I created with our sponsor, Lexus. I'm Keenan Scott II. I am uh, now officially a Broadway playwright, and I'm a hybrid artist. I'm an artist all around. Keenan is a TED Fellow, and his play, Thoughts of a Colored Man, will be the first new play to debut since Broadway shut down over a year ago. I talked with him about how empathy guides all of his work. My first love in life was drawing and painting. Eventually, in my teenage years, I stumbled across the art form of poetry. And then when I got to college, I decided to study acting. When I started learning the great American plays, I didn't see myself represented. I wanted to create something that me and my peers can unapologetically be ourselves. And that small novel idea I had ended up turning into Thoughts of a Color Man, a play that's preparing on Broadway. I read an op-ed that you wrote in American Theater Magazine about the motivation behind Thoughts of a Colored Man, and you stated this, my ultimate goal was to foster empathy because I wanted to be seen. I wanted to help create a world in which the lives of Black men were as valuable as their white counterparts. Fueled by angst, Like an architect, I began to piece together fragments of poems, monologues, and thoughts I had written, outpoured the first draft of the play that would become Thoughts of a Colored Man. Keenan, why has empathy been so important to you and to this play in particular? I didn't realize that I was weaving in the element of empathy into my characters until I started hearing responses from people witnessing my work. And I started to realize when people would tell me how much they learned from seeing these Black men in their environment, not necessarily attached to discrimination or racism, but really seeing these men in their everyday life and seeing them engage with each other. So very early on, I knew empathy was very important for me in my work because I would hope that if anybody read anything from me or saw any of my productions, they learned a little more than they knew before they came in that door. So they might look at that young man sitting at a bus stop a little different. They might look at that grocery store worker a little bit different. They might see that man that's riding on the train with them just a little bit different. So empathy is very important for me. And I think it's very important for us just as human beings. How would you define empathy? Empathy for me is the understanding and care for something or someone that's unlike you. How are you able to create empathy in your work? I try to write from the most authentic and truthful place that I can. And being truthful in my work doesn't mean that my characters or my stories are going to be perfect, because they're not. We're, We're not perfect human beings, right? So I don't create my characters to be perfect. I create them to all be flawed. And in those flaws, that's where we see humanity. What is your advice for people trying to develop a greater sense of empathy? Try to surround yourself and talk to and immerse yourself in situations and things that are unlike you. There has to be an effort put in to building empathy by taking yourself out of your comfort zone and out of your own personal community, whatever that community is. And I think once that door opens, it's such a beautiful, beautiful thing to be able to open your mind and your spirit to things that's unlike yourself. Lexis also believes that empathy emerges when you focus on people and leads to innovation. The Lexis LS was inspired by humans and engineered to a higher standard, the human standard. Visit Lexis.com slash LS. That's L-E-X-U-S dot com slash L-S to learn more. <laughs> 